In this quick tutorial, I'd like to show you a couple of the many cool transitions in FX Factory Pro, the dissolves. I'm in Final Cut Pro 10, but these transitions also work in Motion, Premiere Pro, and After Effects as well. In the Transitions browser under FX Factory Pro, you'll find Blocks Dissolve, Edge Dissolve, Organic Dissolve, Text Dissolve, and Tile Dissolve. But we're going to focus on two others, Blur Dissolve and Glow Dissolve. I'm sure we all understand the concept of a dissolve, and we've used Final Cut Pro's built-in cross-dissolve transition many times to fade one clip out and another clip in while they're briefly superimposed in the middle. Blur Dissolve is a great transition I use often to add some spice to the standard fade in, fade out. I'll drag it to the cut on my timeline. From the on-screen drop-down menu, I'll first check out some of the presets that manipulate blur and exposure. I like the Hollywood News preset, and I'm going to tweak some of the parameters to my liking. Blur Dissolve uses two different blurs, a directional blur, which essentially stretches the picture while it blurs, sometimes giving the illusion of motion, and a standard Gaussian blur. The peak blur settings adjust the amount of blur at the peak or right in the middle of the transition. I can adjust the angle of my directional blur, and the Gaussian blur does a great job of smoothing out the directional blur at its peak. Additionally, I have a peak exposure setting that allows me to lighten or darken the clips in the transition as they blur across the dissolve. The curve setting adjusts the geometry of the curve of the transition. As always, you can read up on any of the parameters by checking the built-in help document. I like the look of this transition, so I'll save it as a preset. Another cool transition is the glow dissolve. It peaks with a glow that reveals the next clip. I like the sun glow preset, but I'll tweak it a little bit. Source Luminance, Softness, Radius, and Strength are all standard glow-related settings that affect which parts of the image will glow and how strong and big the glow will be. Color adds a bit of color to the glow, in this case, a yellow hue. But if I check Use Original Colors, the glow will be derived from the colors in the image. Raising the saturation value will create a stronger connection between the glow and the pixels it originates from. Let's save this as a preset. The set of dissolves included in FX Factory Pro are easy to use, highly customizable, and a great addition to your editing toolbox. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great effects, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at fxfactory.com.